All right, what's going on, boys and girls? So this particular video talks about one topic versus video. Pine 64, specifically Pine Phone, versus Librem 5 from Purism. Which one do I personally like? Which one would I recommend? Hands down, without a doubt, I'm going to recommend the Pine Phone. I'm not going to be one of these bigger YouTubers and, you know, props to them for being bigger YouTubers and getting sponsorships and stuff. And I'm not knocking that. I'm not even going to knock purism as far as like attempting to do something, how they attempt it, that I'll knock that I'll knock about the, you know, the tablet that was never shipped. That was mentioned once and kind of in passing that never became a thing. Um, you know, then we can talk about the multiple delays, the fact that a final version of your phone is not available until 2020, even though you're shipping a jank version of it in 2019. Now, there's a lot of stuff I can say bad about purism. You know, let's fire the sales team while they're out promoting purism. At, you know, when Linux West Northwest, among many other things, your project management, the people who run your company. Uh, everything about purism as a company, not talking technical side, because I'm not even going to get into that, but from a project management point of view, is abysmal at best. And let's not even talk about who you hire to do your PR. Conflict of interest. I wonder why certain websites aren't open anymore. At the end of the day, if my skepticism of purism it does not tell you which phone I'm going to recommend, the Librem 5 is a $700 mid-range phone with a half-baked UI with, uh, with not UI, OS that supposedly has tons of custom work. So much so that they basically rebranded everything from Matrix and all the other stuff as Librem, you know, X what application. Seems like you're taking a lot from open source. Awesome. I, I legit like I have no cares about purism as far as their products. They do not interest me. At seven hundred dollars for what it is. Even if it was a niche product, it has no interest to me. Because here's the thing. A $150 phone does the same goddamn thing. Big bold letters. And I don't have to wait until 2020 to actually get a full product. So to me, Pine Phone wins hands down. I, I don't have a lot of nice things to say about purism. Do I hope they succeed? This would be the one nice thing I say. Yeah. Do I have hopes that they succeed? Yeah. Do I have a realistic view that they'll succeed? No. I, maybe I'm wrong, you know, but just given how the project management of that company has been done, the, the amount of ineptitude in that, it's just mind boggling to me. So I'm going to recommend the Pine phone every single day of the week because guess what? I can buy their entire portfolio for the price of a fucking Librem. And then here's the catch. I like the Librem. I didn't have to pay $700 for it. And I can run all the same OSs that the Librem can. And, oh, I have also those physical hardware cutoff switches for stuff. Kind of like the Librem at $150. Or I can buy the Pine, you know, the Pine 64, uh, Pine Book, Pine Book Pro, Pine Tab. And here's the thing. They don't announce products and then not ship them. Purism? Need I say more? Purism has this weird thing where they don't admit that they got over their head and they 
they could have mitigated a lot of the community ire or distrust, call it whatever you want, by just saying, eh, we took out more than we can chew. And at, the, at this moment, you know, X, Y, Z, we're going to have to wait till a realistic point of view and a point of time to ship this. So if they had said first quarter 2020, I wouldn't have cared. Still wouldn't have bought in it, but at least they're upfront and honest about it. The way they're doing the stage rollout, it's a gimmick. It's them trying to say we ship something in 2019 like we said we we're going to. So I'm calling them full of shit, personally. Um, again, Pine 64, I can buy their entire portfolio. They ship products. I'm still waiting for Purism to ship more than one product. And FYI, they delayed the laptop a few different times. They never shipped the tablet. Never even made the tablet. It was mentioned in passing. And the Librem's been... You know, how many times has that been delayed? I mean, come on. Like, really at the end of the day. Am I going to back a company that is giving me the option to run whatever the hell I want on it and has a proven track record of actually shipping stuff on a decent time frame and saying and being transparent about it and upfront about it or a company that has a track record of doing shady shit and not following through and constant delays and quite frankly, abysmal project management. And I'm going to call this my ire a few people, but I'm going to say that the people that run the project management of Purism are inept. Do I hope that Purism succeeds in whatever they're trying to do? Yeah. Do I have a realistic view that they're going to? Probably not. And that's too bad. So for Lennox phone, I'm going to say go pine phone all the way. 